Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tuts, and today I'm going to show you how we're going to create a static block, and we're going to add it to a place on the page using a layout update for a particular category page. So if that doesn't make any sense, uh, we'll just see what happens when we get into it. Basically, we're going to create a static block, and then we're going to have it show up on this children's page in a certain section that we want it to show up in, and it's uh, going to be nice and easy, okay? Okay, let's get into it. First, we just need to create the block. So I'm going to go to CMS static blocks, and this can be uh, this will be children's block. Um, I'm just going to call this child block, and here we can put anything we want here, but I'm just going to put hello this uh, this is working, and this content. Uh, uh, like you said, it can be any HTML. You can show hide your editor to actually just write your own HTML if you'd like. And we're going to save this block. What you have in this block doesn't really matter, but just to let you, this is just to show you that you can um, have a layout update specific to this uh, category. So we're going to go to Catalog, Manage Categories, and we're going to go to Children's. And here, what we want to do is we want to go to um, Custom Design. And here it's going to allow us to we just click no, use parent category settings. Um, and we don't need to change any of this stuff. Uh, we don't want to change the layout of the page because it's already using, um, I think it's a right column layout. Let's check this out to be sure. Oh, this is just a a column one layout. So actually, let's change this. I'm just going to go through and I'm going to say this is going to be a two column with a left bar specific to the children's page. And in your custom layout updates, you might just be wondering what goes here. This is just a blank box. Well, this is where you would put your XML, similarly if you were writing in the layout file. So we're going to want to reference the left bar, and we want to put our block in the left bar. So if you recall, we did that by having reference, and then name, name equals left. So we're referencing the left structural block of the site. And inside of here, uh, Forgive this, it won't do indenting in here, but you can just imagine that this is this line is indented. Uh, we want to say block type, and this is equals a CMS slash block in quotes, and then the name is going to be um, it, it, this can be whatever you want your name to be, it's just going to be uh, child block and that's all we really have to have here. And then now I'm going to say action, and the method is going to be set block ID. And notice how this is in camel case, so the B and the I are capitalized. And next we're going to say block underscore ID. And here we're going to put our block ID. If you remember, we had that as child underscore block was our ID from the previous page. And then we want to close out this, uh, these tags here. Okay, and then now we need to close out the uh, block tag. And we need to close out the reference. Okay, now I'm just going to save this category. And on refresh, we'll notice a couple things here. Oh, it's saying my XML is invalid for some reason. Let's check it out. Oh, I, I close this off with set block ID for some reason instead of action. So uh, as you can see, it's going to not let you uh, go through with this if you've messed something up here. So OK, this is all good now. Save category. All right, category has been saved. Let's refresh our children's page. Okay, so it's done a couple of things. Keep in mind, uh, I don't know what's going on with the theme here. I think I changed the theme. Oh, it's actually uh, this custom design. We need to set this to level up. Save this. I didn't realize that it had gotten unset. Now let's refresh. Okay, so we still have our children's section here. 
Uh, and this newsletter stuff's showing up because we are telling this to be a two column page now. But the most important aspect of this, the thing you need to worry about here is this, hello, this is working, is showing up here because we have referenced this block here. If we get rid of this code and save this, it's still gonna be a two column. It's still gonna have that subscribe stuff, but it's not gonna have our hello, this block is working. Cool, so now we have this. You can also, so basically, you can add any block to any page. Um, you can change the column around. Um, you have so much flexibility now over what you're doing with these category pages. Okay, well, if you have any questions about this, feel free to hit us up on Twitter. You can uh, reach us at, at Level Up Tuts. Um, just let us know what you're thinking. As always, you know, if you can leave a comment in the video, that'd be great. We're going to try to get to these as fast as possible. A lot of times we can't get to every comment because uh, we do like to mention this is totally in our spare time. So um, if we can get to your comment, we will get to it. If we can't, we apologize. We'll do our very best to. So, you know, feel free to leave a comment. Hit us up at Twitter. This is Scott with Level of Tuts. Thanks for watching.